Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. I was going through uh, Bounding Into Comics uh, website and came across this rumor. HBO Max continuation of Snyderverse, Batman rests on Ben Affleck. Published by J.B. Augustine. Does some good fucking work. Good picture of uh, Ben Affleck. Rumors that Ben Affleck's appearance in The Flash will lead the way to for development of the Oscar-winning actor and director's own Batman project for HBO Max are once again gaining traction. Man, looks good. Related rumor, Ben Affleck still back as Batman for HBO Max despite new claims. Twitter user at BlackMagicMan90, a freelance contributor to pop culture news outlet Geeks Worldwide, said he has heard that HBO Max is interested in continuing the saga of Affleck's Batman. Fuck, that'd be awesome. Shit. However, the production of any Batflick related project hinges on two things the success of Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League and Affleck's willingness to return. Oh, he looks good, man. Looks, looks very good. On September 13th, at Black Magic Man 90 tweeted that HBO Max is interested in some kind of Batflick continuation, but noted that Ben Affleck has not given any sort of decision yet and has not confirmed if he's interested. Hmm. The success of the Snyder Cut, notwithstanding, at Black Magic Man stated, the ball is in his court. The Moonlight Warrior at Black Magic Man 90. HBO Max is interested in some kind of Batflick continuation. However, Ben Affleck has not given any sort of decision yet and has not confirmed if he's interested. The ball is in his court. It also comes down to how the Snyder Cut does for HBO Max. After receiving a storm of questions concerning the validity of his claim at Black Magic Man 90 doubled down and asserted, you can choose to believe me or not, that's on you. But, but don't ever try to discredit my credibility, he continued. That shit simply won't fly with me. If I hear something or I'm told something, I will share it. That's what's up. What's up, Ben? Let's see. Affleck's participation in The Flash, albeit in a mirror role, was only recently announced in The Flash's director, Andy Muschietti. His return, despite the persistent rumors that the star is seeking to bring his Batman script to life on HBO Max, came as a surprise to fans. Boy, that suit is awesome. The return of Affleck has been contradicted as recently as this past July when heroic Hollywood editor-in-chief Umberto Gonzalez in a spree of rumor refutation on Twitter declared that as much as I want to see this, unfortunately, this is not true either. Hmm. However, Gonzalez's claim itself was disputed just a few days later on the Lightcast podcast by the cultured nerd writer Taylor Murphy, who stated that he had heard from a few people it happened, then signed a new contract. Boy, that's sick. While it could be said without a doubt that Affleck has inked a deal it's unknown whether it will be for more than one movie. A hotly debated theory suggests that Batflick may be killed off or erased from existence by the Flashpoint Paradox event in The Flash. 
It's also possible that Warner Brothers could up the offer with more money, which could result in either a retcon of this death or his placement in a pocket universe. However, Affleck has repeatedly said that he is no longer Batman and has hinted that he's made peace with passing the torch to the Batman's Robert Pattinson. The Flash is scheduled to release in June 2022. We ought to know by then what the future holds for Batfleck. Thankfully, you don't have to wait two years to sound off on the topic of Affleck's return to the cow. Do you want to see him come back to an agreement with Warner Media to make it happen? Or do you think The Flash will mark the end of his career as the Dark Knight? Hmm. It's interesting. Me personally, I want to see him back. I want to see him back. I want him to do his movie. And if that can spark off uh, into him having his own show, I think that'd be uh, the best thing that Batman fans would have seen in, in you know, or would have gotten in years. I think it's time for us to get something different, you know, and, and, and we always wanted to get Ben Affleck's Batman. Give the man a chance. Give him what he needs. Give him the resources, the money, the fundage for him to bring this version of Batman to life. The fans want it. Not taking anything away from Robert Pattinson's Batman, but that version has to uh, have something to prove. It's going to be his first movie. We'll wait to see. We'll judge it then. But we know what Bat what what Ben Affleck's Batman looks like, and we've seen what he's capable of doing. We want to see more of it. So that's my take on it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Yeah, you know, drop the comments, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, just know that this is your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.